Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Here we will explore the novel antibody humanization technology and the corresponding services provided by Creative Biolabs. So what is antibody humanization and why to humanize antibody? Monoclonal antibodies have been shown to play important roles in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of human diseases as novel biological agents. But the monoclonal antibodies produced by the hybridoma technique are mostly of murine origin and belong to the heterogeneous proteins and are immunogenic. Therefore, repeated application of monoclonal antibodies in the human body can produce different levels of human anti-mouse antibody responses, thereby impairing the treatment effectiveness and damaging the organs that clear antibodies. In addition, mouse-derived monoclonal antibodies often do not effectively activate complement and FC receptor-associated effector systems in humans, and their application is therefore limited. To overcome these limitations, different strategies were utilized to humanize the mouse monoclonal antibodies according to the relationship between the structure and function of antibodies and on the basis of maintaining the specificity and affinity of the original monoclonal antibody. The most widely applied methods for producing partially humanized antibodies are the grafting methods. According to different humanization degrees, these methods can be divided into the following subdivisions. First, the most used CDR grafting method clones the complementary determination regions, or the CDRs, of mouse monoclonal antibody into the corresponding regions of human antibody to completely or partially replace the CDRs of human antibody, resulting in a CDR grafted antibody. The framework regions, or FRs, can also be optionally cloned together with the CDRs into the corresponding regions of human antibody to hold the correct formation of the variable regions of mouse antibody. Cloning of the mouse antibody CDRs and FRs into the human antibody can produce an abbreviated CDR grafted antibody. In addition, not all CDRs involved in the specific recognition and binding of antigens but instead performing this function by specificity determining residuals, or SDRs. And based on CDR grafting, the SDR transfer method is proposed. It generates a humanized antibody with a substantially reduced number of non-human residuals, and therefore shows minimized anti-idiotypic response. However, the back mutations required in CDR grafted antibodies may introduce new antigenic epitopes, a solution to this is to maintain the core and CDRs of the murine variable regions, but replace the surface residuals with those from a human sequence by a strategy known as resurfacing. This strategy originates from a systematic analysis of known antibody structures to determine the relative solvent accessibility distributions of residuals in human and mouse variable regions. The design of grafted antibodies often involves an iterated approach where sequence designs are generated and tested in binding and or functional assays. An outline of the general approach to this design cycle is as follows. 1. Analyze the source donor amino acid sequences. 2. Construct a three-dimensional model of the variable region in silicon. 3. Find suitable human acceptor framework sequences. 4. Identify putative back mutations in the chosen frameworks. 5. Reconsider the framework choice and design a humanized antibody sequence. 6. Construct humanized antibody sequence. 7. Clone, express, and test the constructs. Humanized light chain can be tested independently by combining with heavy chimeric chain and vice versa. To produce a monoclonal humanized antibody with grafting method, the genes of the CDRs, SDRs, 
and or FRs within the variable regions of the heavy and light chains of mouse monoclonal antibody are cloned with genes of the constant regions of the heavy and light chains of human antibody to generate chimeric heavy and light chain genes. After gene editing, the heavy and light chain genes are cloned into one plasmid to generate a recombinant plasmid for the prokaryotic expression of the target antibody in E. coli. Alternatively, the heavy and light chain genes can be cloned into two plasmids. The resulting plasmids are transformed into E. coli, and the antibody light and heavy chain will be expressed from the E. coli and assembled into a complete antibody. The third generation antibody humanization method, which is referred to as chain shuffling, uses phage antibody library technology to humanize the mouse antibody through the chain replacement of the mouse monoclonal antibody FAB fragments, resulting in fully humanized antibody, which has a 100% human antibody sequence and fundamentally overcomes the emergence of the human anti-mouse antibody response. In this strategy, the light chain of the rodent antibody is first replaced by light chains in one of the well-tested human antibody libraries. The resulting hybrid antibody library is then screened by panning against a particular antigen. After that, the heavy chain of the selected hybrid antibodies is replaced by heavy chains of the human antibody library. Subsequent screening of the secondary chimeric library will produce fully humanized antibodies. Since phage display library screening mimics in vivo antibody selection and evolution procedure, chain shuffling can result in humanized antibodies whose affinities are higher than that of the original antibody. Also, this sequential chain shuffling procedure can generate several versions of humanized antibodies with different sequences. The production of multiple humanized antibodies retaining the same epitope specificity is important in therapeutic regimens that call for long-term treatment with antibodies in which anti idiotypic responses might be avoided by administration of alternative antibodies. Creative Biolabs has extensive experience to offer the antibody humanization service for therapeutic and diagnostic development. We have successfully performed 15 mouse rat humanization projects during the past decade, with at least one humanized antibody entered the clinical trial. Creative Biolabs has established a universal antibody humanization platform to humanize monoclonal antibodies derived from a wide range of species. Non-human antibodies derived from canine, bovine, murine, rabbit, chicken, llama, and camel can all be humanized. It's worth mentioning that we are certainly the only company in the field that has the expertise in monkey antibody humanization. Creative Biolabs is proud to introduce a unique therapeutic antibody discovery service, humanization of bovine ultra-long CDR3 antibodies. By merging the ultra-long CDR3s discovered in bovine with human IgG scaffolds, novel therapeutic antibodies against challenging antigen families, including GPCRs and other intramembrane targets on the cell surface are possible. Humanized IgG scaffolds that accommodate ultra-long CDR3s may target small proteins with desirable therapeutic properties, which are challenging for conventional antibodies. Creative Biolabs has established the GH8 platform to germinalize humanized antibodies. Antibody humanization followed by germinalization produces human antibodies with excellent germinality index. Human antibodies optimized from this platform are almost equivalent to mature human antibodies in sequence and have minimal immunogenicity, while retaining parental affinity and specificity. Creative Biolabs has established an innovative magic human antibody discovery platform using transgenic mice or rats. We have integrated multiple first-class humanized animals in combination with our elegant antibody generation technologies 
to contribute to the discovery and development of fully human antibodies for global clients. Creative Bio Labs is pleased to present world-leading de novo human or humanized antibody sequencing services. Our scientists have developed the advanced de novo antibody sequencing technology, database-assisted shotgun sequencing, which is an analytical method that derives antibody's amino acid sequence from its tandem mass spectra with the assistance of a sequence database. To learn more about Creative Bio Labs, please contact us. Visit our website at www.creative-biolabs.com. Call us at 1-631-381-2994 or email us info at creative-biolabs.com. Fax 1-631-207-8356. Visit our company 45-1 Ramsey Road, Shirley, New York. One one nine six seven.